All right, this is a mnemonic for remembering the evaluation of the healing of an episiotomy. So these are the things you want to look at when your patient is recovering from an episiotomy. So Rita, R-E-E-D-A, Rita had an episiotomy. So the letters stand for redness, edema, echomyosis, discharge or drainage, and approximation. So those are all the things that you want to be looking for on a patient that's healing from an episiotomy. So redness with pain, excess edema or echomyosis, uh, that is the bruising, uh, discharge or drainage from the wound, and those are all potential signs of a problem from healing after an episiotomy. So the wound edges should be well approximated and, and together. Um, and, you know, in this situation, they might be indicating ice packs or maybe, maybe topical ointments if there's excess of pain or swelling or other signs of infection. But these are the things you want to be looking at with your patient healing from an episiotomy. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.